So make no mistake about it. I mean, if you side with this impeachment, you're siding with the CIA. You're siding with the people who have been calling Trump guilty of treason for all the wrong reasons. For all the wrong reasons. The ones who celebrate the worst things that he does and and attack him for the few good things that he does. That's what you're dealing with here. But if you are going to support the impeachment, at least, you know, support it the way Ron Paul supported the Bill Clinton impeachment. At least insert our narrative or, or a narrative that fucking matters into the conversation. All right. I guess those are my thoughts on the uh, the first day of uh, of the the impeachment inquiry hearings. Uh, looking forward uh, to more of this fucking clown show. I'll I'll watch it so you guys uh, so you guys don't have to. But if you want to, if you got you know if you got six free hours during your day, go ahead to turn it on. Um, I did want to uh, just before we uh, we wrap this this baby up, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Libertarian Party, uh, Maj Touré. Uh, some of the the drama that's been going on there. I know not all you guys who uh, who listen like follow the the LP that closely or know what's happening. But so Maj, uh, you know, he he was a, a guest on this show. Um, he was on a um, Michael Malice's show as well, and and it was uh, he was running for city council in Philly. He's a guy who's become very very popular in the uh, the Libertarian Party, and um, he uh, you know he lost his race. Um, in Philly, which look, I mean, obviously, Maj is a young guy. Um, he's running on a third party in a, in a Democrat, uh, a Democratic city, um, and um, all of these things. You know, if you're if you're involved in libertarian politics or just in libertarianism in general or in any type of radical, you know, anti-status quo movement, it's uh, these things are um, you know, they're long shots. That doesn't mean they're not worth trying. Um, but you know, you're, you're going in at a, at a disadvantage and Maj has been a guy who's been doing something really cool and really unique. Uh, he's an interesting, an interesting dude. Um, you know, he's, he founded black guns matter and he goes into the hood and tells, uh, these, these guys like why they should all support gun rights and basically be libertarians. Um, and that is, uh, something that, you know, Let's just say the the Libertarian Party doesn't exactly have a deep bench of people who are doing that. They have Maj, and that's it, as far as I can tell. Um, so anyway, he uh, got into a, a whole – after he lost his race, it seems like some of the establishment people in the party tried to, tried to really fuck with him. And they rescinded – he was going to go speak uh, at the, uh, the Libertarian National uh, Convention, and um, he uh, – his his invitation was rescinded, and from what I understand, I spoke uh, um, to Michael Heiss on the phone briefly the other day, who's the the head of the uh, the Mises Caucus, of course, also a former guest on the show, not the king of the Mises Caucus, but he is the uh, the head. Um, and so, um, anyway, I I guess he uh, he he was kind of explaining to me what happened there. But they um, – so it was this guy, Daniel Hayes, who I've never heard of before because this is – I'm just not that up on the inner workings of the Libertarian Party and I don't really give a shit about that. I, I focus on the big picture and the philosophy and it, how the party can be used to promote the philosophy is really all I care about. Um, and truthfully speaking, if, if Nick Sarwalk hadn't embarrassed himself and started attacking all these fucking people who are really great in the liberty movement, I never would have known of him. And probably most of you guys listening wouldn't have either. Probably most of you guys wouldn't know who he is if I hadn't debated him. Um, but anyway, uh, so he he basically disinvited him, this guy Daniel Hayes. And it's really just, you know, it's the the reasons that they, they, that they did it, I guess, were something like, I guess Maj, like, called some people, like, gay or something like that when he was like making fun of him and he was uh that he joked around in one video with hotep jesus that he was uh that they were black white nationalists like trolling people and it was just the lamest thing ever and uh it's really funny man like the it, it's like this is the thing that uh and this is what me and michael heiss were talking about on the phone the other day where it's like these people in the lp and this is true in politics in general it's like they want diversity in quotes I've said this for a long time. It's like they want um they want the skin color 
but they don't want any of your culture that might come along with that. Like they don't want any of that shit. So they want to brag about how they have black people, but then they also want to be like, he said something homophobic once. And it's like, how, how many people in the hood have you ever hung out with in your life that you're really like, oh my God, they said something homophobic once. Like, which by the way is a stupid term anyway. Anyway, it's, it's fucking sucks. Uh, it, it looks like Maj might be leaving the party. I, I'm not sure if he's decided that he's doing that yet or not. I, I hope he doesn't. I hope he sticks around and tries to, you know, join, you know, which he already is, but be a part of the righteous cause and take this fucking bitch over because that's the better play here. That is absolutely the better play. Um, but uh, it just it just fucking bugs me. It's like the same thing with uh, with Nicholas Sarwak, with guys like Daniel Hayes. It's like these fucking dorks who like they don't in, they don't fucking accomplish anything. They don't inspire anybody. So they race to these party you know positions that nobody else really wants, um, which is you know just the 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 reality of the situation. It's like, no one else wants this shit. If I, like, if I wanted either one of their jobs, I would go take either one of their jobs. It would be quite easy to do, but I just don't want to do it. I do something way cooler, and I think it has a more a better impact. But they're not fucking inspiring anybody. They don't have followers. I mean, this motherfucker Daniel Hayes has a couple hundred Twitter followers. He's like, no one knows who he is. But then he's going to decide, this guy, Maj Touré, who's inspiring tens of thousands of people, that he's no good because he said a no-no word at one point. And, and anyway, is... As you could imagine, my take on it is just, you know, disgust. Um, and uh, th this is what we need to fucking just either rise above, uh, rise above or just rid the party of, uh, of these people. Because the truth is that I think that, that the Libertarian Party has a real big opportunity coming up. And I'll say this one more time, which was my pitch to join uh, the Libertarian Party. And I I'll be even a little bit more forceful. Than, uh, than I was last time because there's been some you know new developments where now we actually have Jacob Hornberger running for president on the Libertarian Party, like a really good, principled, hardcore libertarian who knows his shit and will not compromise. We've kind of got that guy that was more or less what we were looking for. And, you know, look, you can you can say, like, uh, I'm sure you can find areas about him that aren't perfect or things that, you know, like, he could do better. But, you know, I mean, that's that's true for everybody. If you're just looking at anybody, you know, if you were looking at Ron Paul, you could certainly be like, well, I don't know if he's, like, the best public speaker. Or I don't know if he's the best this or that. Or if you were looking at Trump or you were looking at any of these guys, there, there's problems you could find. That doesn't mean they can't be successful. Um, and he's really, really great. On, on so many issues and he's got so many good things going for him. And then it's kind of, it, it kind of feels to me like this might be the right time for the Liberty movement to get going again. Um, it just, it, it just feels that way to me. And, um, you know, Scott Horton just joined the LP for the first time in his life. And that, that kind of like signals something to me, like Scott Horton may not have the biggest audience. He doesn't have nearly as big an audience as he should, but he's a real thought leader, uh, in, in the Liberty movement. And, um, I just think that, like, look, man, like I said before, it's like if we wanted to do this, if people, uh, you know, if if half of my audience were to um, were to join the Libertarian Party, we own that party. We become a super majority in that party. Half the audience of this show, a third of the audience joins. We're a super majority in the in the party. If all of us were to join the fucking party like I have already. We just we do whatever we want with it. And if people are willing to go out and become delegates and join their local parties and all this shit, we could really get something going here that could be pretty fucking cool. Pretty fucking cool. Easily get Jacob Hornberger the nomination. Uh, really, really have like the libertarian voice being inserted because you know what? As as retarded as this this fucking impeachment is, as crazy as this deep state coup against Donald Trump is, Donald Trump really ain't getting it done. And he, he's not going to fucking save the fucking country from the coming disaster, the fiscal disaster, um, the monetary disaster, the disaster from all these wars waging on. Or, you know, it's it's like th there's real problems here. And I just think it's like rather than leaving the party, I think I, I really hope Maj doesn't leave the party. And he goes, now, you know what? We're actually this is the very beginning of something really big here potentially happening with the party. And let's fucking give it a shot. Why not? Let's fucking try to get this thing going again. Either way, I'm always going to do what I do. I'm going to sit here in front of this microphone and call him like I see, call him like I see him. Give you guys the fucking big picture. Be the most consistent motherfucker you know. That's what I'll be doing.